Jellyfish are some of the coolest creatures of the sea. They're mysterious, beautiful, and serene, but it seems like jellyfish don't have a lot of control over their own lives. They're simply floating with the motion of the ocean, going wherever the waves want them to. It turns out that's not the case. Jellyfish have a unique way of moving, and it is inspiring exciting new technology. Before we understand how a jellyfish moves, let's break down what a jellyfish is. Jellyfish are invertebrates. This means that they don't have a backbone. Their bodies are made of 95% water. Their main structures are the bell, which is on top, and their tentacles, which hang down from the bell. Some jellyfish have nematocysts, which are small, barbed structures that line their tentacles and allow them to sting their prey. A jellyfish also has a nervous system that's distributed through their body similarly to a net. The nervous system allows them to sense changes in their environment, light and dark, and even smell. A jellyfish's motion is primarily driven through their bell. A jellyfish flexes its bell, and this creates vortexes of water. Some of the vortexes are below the jellyfish and push it forward while others are ahead of the jellyfish and pull it forward through the water. This allows the jellyfish to move very efficiently. And it's inspired University of Edinburgh researchers who've created a robot that moves similarly. The robot's body is a set of ribs that expand and contract. The ribs are covered by a soft, flexible membrane. As the ribs expand and contract, this flexes the membrane similarly to the bell of a jellyfish. This allows the robot to move through the water 50 times more efficiently than the movement of a small, propeller-based vehicle. Additionally, because much of the robot's body is covered in soft, flexible membranes, it's safer to use in places like coral reefs and shipwrecks, where there's lots of delicate things that you don't want to bump into with heavy machinery. So the next time a jellyfish is swimming through the water, it may turn and notice a little robot swimming alongside who looks very familiar. Hi, this is Denise from C2ST. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please make sure to follow, like, and subscribe. Also, be sure to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when a new video is posted. Doing all of this makes sure that our videos are more visible to other STEM enthusiasts on YouTube.